Welcome to Psychic Medium Tony G. It's an honor to be invited into your home for this next bit of time. I'm a psychic medium, hypnotist, and a healer. It is my purpose and my passion to help people on their journey. And today I'm going to be giving a reading to Ellen. Hi, Ellen. Thank you Hi, so much. Hi, Tony. Thanks for having me. Yeah, it's, it's such an honor to have you here today. So, Ellen, it, you can ask questions about um, any aspect of your life, career, business, finances, love, any aspect at all. And, um, it, well, I'm going to finish that statement, but first I have to tell you there's a trip coming in. That's I just keep hearing trip, trip, trip. So I know that there's going to be a trip coming in for you soon, but you can also, if you wish, connect with loved ones on the other side. My agreement with them is that whatever they show me, whatever they say, I will say it for them or explain what I'm seeing so that you understand all of the messages coming through for you. These messages come from your angels, loved ones, and guides that you've had uh, for your whole incarnation. So, does that explain a little bit of what we'll be doing here today? It sounds pretty intense. <laughs> <laughs> well, it should be pretty fun. So, do, would you like to start with a question? I would. Um, okay. I guess, I think everybody these days is so busy. And so, I'm really trying to understand better how to prioritize my time and what I should really be focusing on. Okay, so the first thing I hear is that you need balance. You are really like one of these people, and I hope I'm getting this correctly, where you're all in, um, you're all, like you get over, not over, but you get, you get all in on one thing and you stay focused there probably for a little bit longer and you, for, you forget about other elements or other parts of your life. And the first thing I'm hearing is home, to really nurture yourself at your time at home. Nurture yourself with your time at home. To use that time, um, and this doesn't even, the way they're saying this might not make sense at first, but sustainability is the other term that they're using. So I don't know how that comes into you for home and for what you do, but what I'm seeing is for, so there's these, so first, okay, nurture yourself at home. When you're at home, take that time to nurture. Don't be immersed in work. You have enough other time when you're doing that stuff. Um, and if you do have things you need to do at home that are work-related, Give yourself a time limit on that. They're saying um, you need to really balance that work, nurture uh, part of your life. Uh, you're a little off kilter is what they're saying. Mm. Does that make sense to you? Mm. Well, um, so I, 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 not really. Not really. It doesn't. Um, because I, I guess I don't really see that area lacking. Okay. Um, I mean, I do take time. So, uh, um, you know, I'm, I'm careful in that way. So I, I don't really uh, think that really makes a lot of sense. But Okay, so when they say when you're at home and to nurture yourself... Um, I don't know why they're using that term, but they are. So... Are they telling me I should cook more? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, maybe. I think nurture is self-caring, like taking that time to relax, to if you meditate, meditate. Um, 
do those things that we normally, those things for ourselves that we normally put off, those things that are self-caring things, not the everyday self-caring things, mm-hmm. but the things that we definitely like might push to the side. Um, but the relaxing aspect of it. But I could be off on that. I'm not really sure. So, so that, but that, for, as for, you know, your question, that's what they're giving me. Okay. So I hope, I'm sorry that that doesn't make sense. Well, maybe I could be doing some things that would be more um, helpful, for lack of a better word, than some of my chosen activities when I'm relaxing. Um, I guess another question I have would be, um, with my career, you know, um, I would like to be more successful and I would like to have more financial security. And I'm wondering what activities or what choices I could make that would help me in those areas. Okay, and this is strictly based in career, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. Can I ask what your career is, what you do? I work in the insurance industry. Okay, so, um, and I know you probably are very proactive already, but the first word they're coming up with, the first word they're saying is proactive, being extremely proactive. And nobody likes an aggressive agent, but they're even using the word being more aggressive towards, towards, they're showing me piles of paper on your desk. So being a little bit more aggressive with, I don't know if this is follow-up or if it's um, taking care of this stuff, but this is what they're showing me, but being very proactive. And the other term that they're using is add-ons. Um, for whatever that means, add-ons, add-ons, add-ons. So that that is what they're telling me specifically regarding that. Now, if we branch out a little bit, um, the other side of that and what they're saying is, and again, they're going back to, and I, I hope even if this doesn't make sense to you right now, and I apologize if it doesn't, I hope like later on it might click as to what they're saying because sometimes they'll use a word and that word might not fit the definition that you would give it I don't know if that makes Mm -hmm. sense but they're going back to balance the more you balance out these two aspects the homework aspect the more successful you'll be in your work you need that downtime they're saying Um, it can't be 24 7 um, going on, you need that definite cutoff of it. And I, I, I'm, I hope that makes sense. I'm sorry if it doesn't, but that's just the biggest message that they're giving right now for this is, again, that, that if you bring that balance in, it will be more productive. I'm wondering if I should stay where I am with my current position or whether I should look for a different opportunity okay if you I can't tell you what to do I'm not the boss of you but I can tell you this Um, there is going to be an offer coming in in a month now this offer is coming in from somebody that you know it's almost like a friend or an acquaintance within a month you're going to receive an offer and it's going to be at a different company, a different branch. I don't know if that means the same name, but a different branch for sure. It's a lateral move. It's not a promotion. You'll be doing pretty much the same thing in a different spot, but it will be more, um, how do I say this? The people you'll be dealing with will be able to spend more on the product, okay? so that it will create higher numbers in the end. If you don't take that opportunity, if you do take that opportunity, it will, it will be very good, you'll do well, you'll be happy, okay? If you don't take that opportunity in approximately the three month mark, 
you will be seeking a, um, a new position and you will find one and I feel like by June you will be in another spot. Now they're using very exact terms here um, like another spot which is very telling to me but again I don't always understand the messages as they come through and the person receiving them doesn't always understand them as they come through mm -hmm. but then when it happens they're like oh this is what they were talking about so just know that that by June you should be in another spot whether you take the first offer or you go out and seek but yeah you are in the middle of a transition what about self-employment versus staying with a company job and that might be why they said another spot because if you do branch out on your own you wouldn't be taking a position with another company you would be finding your own spot to start mm -hmm. if you do start self-employment you're going to do well and within a year you will be where you want to be it'll only take approximately a year to be where you want to be if you if you yeah if you do that if you do move to a self employment position now i'm going to i'm going to tell you if you take the the offer that's coming in at about a month you won't move to a self employed position for it'll push that further out but by June, if you don't take that position, by June, you'll find yourself in another spot, meaning self-employed, possibly, if you choose to do that. And you will be moving up. You will be going up, OK? And within a year, you should be pretty much where you want to be number-wise or financially. I'm wondering about moving, about leaving Wisconsin. Well, if you're going where it's warmer, I personally always say <laughs> you can't go fast enough. <laughs> um, so, y you know what? Um, yeah, if you decide to relocate, you're going to do that that soon. Okay, so I hear March. That doesn't mean you'll relocate in March. That means that by March you're going to know where you're going to go. And then again, the next month I hear is June. So it's very, very, very likely that, that by the time you relocate and where you relocate that and starting up, it all starts by June. Now, are you making this move with someone? No. Okay. I feel like wherever you go, there's going to be a person there that draws you there, too. So you're, you're already, how do I say this? You're, you're going to be going either someplace where there's somebody already rooted. Now, I'm not saying this is a love connection, but there's a connection with a person there. Wherever you decide to land, mm -hmm. there's a connection with somebody there. And that's going to help you do that mm -hmm. relocation. Does that make sense to you? Um, well, I mean, yeah, sort of. I mean, I have connections with people. I wouldn't, I'm, I, my strongest connections are in Milwaukee as far as connections to people. But, um, you know, any place I would be moving, I would most likely, there is somebody there that there's some relationship. Right. Well, they're saying this is going to be a stronger connection. Hmm. Whoever this person is, there's going to be a definite draw. And it keep keep a it might even be a new connection that comes in. It may be 
it, I feel like <clears throat> this. I'm not going to be so solid as to say it's a love connection, but it feels like it could be very, it's a strong connection. So, you know, we love our female friends. We love mm -hmm. our male friends. There's, there's some good energy between you and where you're going and the person associated with that. Now, if you have a list of places that you're thinking of, I can tell you where the best place would be for you. They'll say yes, no, yes, no. Well, have you narrowed down your list yet? Um, a little bit. I mean, because I do have reasons for, you know, thinking about specific places. And one of them would be Chicago. Okay. There are a lot of reasons why I would think that would make sense. Yeah, that's, that's a really good business move. It's a really good business move for you. Um, it, they're using the word skyrocket as far as business and that move for you. Okay, so that's a really good business move. Are you okay? Usually Chicago doesn't make people cry. <laughs> <laughs> it would make me cry, but I, it usually doesn't make other people cry. Are you okay? That's not the only option. There are other options too. Are there other places you want to discuss? No, not right now. Um, is, is there... Because you don't have to do that. You know, know. We have choice. We have free will. And, and usually it takes a loved one to make somebody cry on my show. Are you, are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I am. And Chicago is so close to us. It really is. I mean, it's an hour, so you still get to keep all your good connections and your good friends, right? I guess I'm, I'm wondering... If there is somebody that I'm maybe trying to disconnect from that I shouldn't be? Um, okay, so you're not, you know, I always say it's better to run to something than from something, right? And maybe, maybe not if th there seems to be like, blocking. I feel like you're not running from a situation. I feel like you're just ready to start over fresh and new and be in a whole new environment. I feel like several things, and I'm getting goosebumps on this, I just feel like several things might not have worked out the way that you wanted them to. And even though you have really good, solid, loving connections here, those connections will stay. And I always say that... Um, we, we are a certain energy. We have a certain frequency or energy about us. And when we move to a place that's in alignment with that energy, everything falls into place and we do beautifully in that energy. A fresh start might not be the worst thing for you. And I don't want you to look at it as running away from. I want you to, if you do so decide to relocate, I mean, if you're a single girl, there is a lot more single men in Chicago that are a lot more successful and a little bit more vibrant than some of the men here, right? That's not a bad thing. And, and, and what I'm going to say is a fresh start can be a beautiful thing sometimes, and it's not that far. I can tend to be very dismissive of people and quick to end relationships and reject people when I see red flags. And sometimes I wonder, because I'm really trusting my gut, and um, when I don't do that, I don't really seem to get better results, but sometimes I think, you know, am I closing doors too quickly? Okay. You, you definitely are, and please don't be um, put off. Or I'm, I, I'm a guarded person, too. I don't let people in very often, and I don't, you know, you have to jump through some hoops to get there with me, okay? So in my personal life. So, and that's okay. That's what you personally need. When we see those red 
flags or lights or sirens, I want you to know there's a reason your angels, your guides are working double time to make sure you see that before you get too invested in this person and can't walk away. You need to know with every ounce of your being that there's somebody out there that's right for you and that you don't have to sacrifice for. You need to know that you don't have to accept people or things in your life that are not right for you. And it's not wrong to say no to that. It's not wrong to say this isn't, I see this, this is happening, I'm, I'm going to stop this here and move on. That's not wrong. So no, you're not dis dismissing people too quickly if you see those signs. It's important. That most women that are in miserable relationships are because they A, thought they could change those things in a man, or B, thought, ah, that's not that big of a deal, but they all saw those warning signs. Mm -hmm. it's, they're <clears throat> really warning signs, not fake warning signs. They saw those warning signs in the beginning and did not pay attention. It's not even just with, with men, though. I mean, it's not even just romantic relationships. It's with friendships. Yeah. I mean, it's with... You know what? Okay. I can't say that. I was gonna, I was gonna make a joke, and I'm not going to. Here's what I'm gonna tell you: there are a lot of people, male and female, that might not be a perfect fit. Okay. In the beginning, it might seem okay, but then as time goes on, whether it's a friend or a romantic relationship, when we see those things that say, oh, this isn't genuine, oh, this isn't right, we have to pay attention to that. You're not their counselor. You're not their doctor. It's not wrong to walk away from something that's not healthy or going in the right direction. That's never wrong at all. And the reason we have such great intuition is so that we can listen to it. So they're showing us those signs for a reason. And if you don't listen to it the first time, second time, third time, oh, they'll keep showing you and those signs will get much, much stronger and worse. Okay? Mm. Does that help? Yeah, I mean, I, I just feel like, you know, I'm, I'm cutting people off you know, every week there is somebody that I'm like disconnecting from and it just, you know, mm -hmm. I wonder about that, so. Do you remember a, a little bit ago I said you're in the middle of, a, you're starting a transition or you're in the middle of a transition? You are transitioning right now. And when we transition, what's no longer working will go. What's no longer, like, everybody goes through spiritual lifts, as I like to call it. We evolve. And as we do that, and, and sometimes all of where we are, and especially if we're going to relocate, everything where we are kind of falls apart so that we have that relocation get up and go. Because if everything stayed solid, we wouldn't move to the place where we're supposed to be to start that next chapter in our life. Mm -hmm. Now, the things that are falling apart in your life right now or feel like you're ending in your life right now, they're because you're getting ready to open new doors, new friends, new things coming in. Okay? It's not because it's you're too quick or whatever is go you might think is going on. Everybody goes through this at some point in their life, at least once. And some of us that transition more often go through it more than once. It's, it's not a bad thing. It's not. It really isn't a bad thing. What about my health? What is something that... I've been having some issues, and um, we're not really getting answers. Um, that there's a lot of disagreement about what would be best 
for me, and it's kind of confusing. Okay, if you would like to um, give me the choices, I can tell you yes or no as to what the best thing is, because we have about three minutes okay. left. So otherwise I would go with you, so. Um, well, I guess I'm just wondering if it's more related to an issue with my allergies or whether it has to do with some of the medications, some of the antibiotics I've taken for illnesses. My body's not used to that, and I think it might be causing the problem. Okay. It's, when you said allergies, I got a very strong yes on that. It, it rang true through my whole being. And I want you to know that as you, um, and again, you know, in the beginning when they were saying nurture yourself and balance, I'm so sorry, but they're going back there again. This is all about self-care and self-nurturing. I'm just going to use that word. And that as you get into that spot, you are going to notice your health blooming again. Does that make sense to you? Mm -hmm. I hope it does. I really do want to continue this conversation with you. I want to be able to give you more guidance once we're done here. Um, so I'm going to continue in a second. Okay. But I want to thank you so much for being my guest on uh, the show today. It's such an honor to have you and so wonderful. Oh, thank you for having me. Absolutely. And I want to thank you for allowing us into your home to do this show of Psychic Medium Tony G. For more information on me, you can go to my website, uh, T-O-N-I G dot info. On there, you'll be able to see the books that I have authored. You'll be able to watch my other shows, Create a Life You Love and Healing with Tony. And you'll be able to read my very, very, very short bio, which actually does pretty much sum up my entire life. <laughs> um, I hope you have enjoyed this as much as we have. Thank you, and have an absolutely amazing day.